Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Samir. This is part 21, Introduction to Application Modeler in Object Studio. In this session, we will learn about the application modeler and also how to create an application model. And also we will learn how to identify the elements by using application model. And also we will learn how to spin the elements using application model. Before going to start this session, please watch part 19, Introduction to Business Object and Create Sample Object using Object Studio. And also watch part 20, Difference between Process Studio and the Object Studio. The purpose of a business object is to integrate with an external application. In order to create an integration, we must first teach the business object about the application by creating an application model. The application modeler in Object Studio helps the user to create an application model. An application model that exposes the elements of the application's user interface. To interact with any application, business object needs to know about the particular application's user interface. Blue Prism allows to work with four kinds of applications. One is Windows application, Java-based application, browser-based applications, and also mainframe applications. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce, and I will show you how to create an application model. Let me go to Studios, and let me go to Objects, and let me create a new object. I'm just giving the name as data hyphen Facebook. So in this session, that what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with the browser-based applications. Okay, that's the reason I'm selected the Facebook as an URL, and I'm going to identifying the elements and spying the elements in this session. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on next, and I'm just giving the description as the Facebook, and this I'm going to click on finish. Now you can see the data hyphen Facebook in the objects. Let me double click on that one. If you see in our previous videos, we have given, uh, you know, we have discussed about the initialize, cleanup, and, and actions, right? Let me go to actions over here. If you see over here on the top of Object Studio, we'll find the application modeler. By using this application modeler, we are going to be working how to create an application model. Now, let me click on the application modeler. So you can see when you have clicked on the application modeler, it will open the application modeler wizard. It will define the new application model. What is the name of the application name that you are going to define it? So I'm just giving the default name which I have given for the VBO. This is the same name data hyphen Facebook that I have given it, correct? And I'm just giving keeping as it is and then I'm going to click on next. So as discussed, Blue Prism works on the four kind of applications. One is Windows application, Java based application, browser based application, and mainframe application. Now what I want to select, I'm going to work with the Facebook, I'm going to select browser based application. And then I'm going to click on next. So it will ask you are going to, uh, you are, this application has to run on existing browser or it has to launch a new browser. So I'm going to select a new browser that is launched from the executable file whenever I'm going to run this application modeler. Okay, now I have selected this radio button and then clicking on next. So it will ask you to which kind of browser that you want to work it out. Like, you know, it is Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Which one do you want to work it? So how can I select this one? Let me click on the browse. And you can see in C program files, I'm having Google Chrome, Chrome related data, Chrome related uh, files and also Internet Explorer related. If you see Internet Explorer, I'm having exe file over here, which I want to select it. Okay, now if you can see, I have selected Internet Explorer by default, run the browser, and then I'm going to click on next. So we have to enter the URL which I need to work it, right? I have selected the Facebook. If you see, www.facebook.com is the URL which I am going to work it right now. Also, if you can see, please enter the URL of your start page and any other command line parameters that you are going to work it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work with the Facebook. That's the reason I'm just giving the Facebook URL and then I'm going to click on next. If you want to enable any kind of Java integrated techniques, then select this checkbox or else please leave it as blank. And then I'm going to click on next. 
if there is any HTTP components, please select this checkbox or please uncheck it and then go on next. So if you see over here, select the application manager mode. There's a different different application uh, manager modes that you are having. One is external 32-bit, external 64, OS, or group is a matter size. As of now, that what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the embedded default, and then I'm going to click on finish. So if you see the application modeler, by default, if you see the application explorer over here, you can see the data of Facebook, what are the names that have given at the application, and also what is the browser that we had selected, and also what is the URL, so all these things have been defined over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, you know, capture or identifying the elements and find the elements by using this application model as of now. So how can we do that? Let me explain that. I'm going to give it the name as email or phone number that I'm going to give the you know element details and after that I'm going to launch my browser or launching www.facebook.com. How I'm going to do that? By using the launch button I'm going to click it. Now you can see it is going to be launching or it is going to select by default it is going to select Internet Explorer and after that you can see HTTPS www.facebook.com it is going to be launching and if you see the browser and the URL has been launched successfully. Now let me go back to Blue Prism application modeler and I'm going to say and I'm going to select email or phone. If you see once it has been launched you are now you are going to identify the elements. Okay, identifying the elements in order to select the application elements, we want to use this uh, this identify button over here. So how can we go ahead and do that? Let me click on the identify button. If you see, this is when wherever I am going to uh, mouse over, it is going to show in the green marks over there, right? If you can see all the things, it is going to identify the elements over here. Okay, this is nothing but how we are going to identify the elements. But there is a spying elements also. The, for the spying elements, if you see on screen, using identification tool, it has been launched it. Okay, to identify the element, you have to use control key on your keyboard, and also you are going to use left click on your mouse. I'm going to select all at the time, control plus mouse button, I'm going to use left click on the mouse. It has identified the element. What are the element details? I have given the name over here, but all the attributes on nodes will have been selected over here. What is the element type? This is a HTML element type. It has been identified. If you see the ID as email and the input type is email that has specified the parent URL www.facebook.com and also what is the path it has given? In the HTML, if you see this is HTML body one, div one, div two, all the things what are the things that have been identified? It has taken all the things. And also you can see the screen boards, tag name, all the ident elements have been identified. And also you can see width 150 and also what is the X, X coordinates, Y coordinates, that's what we'll call it. All the things have been identified. So identified and spied elements also. Now let me open one more add element. I'm just giving as password for that and I'm going to identify the element. And also I'm going to spin the element. How I'm going to do? Control plus left click of the mouse. Now you can see this is all the parameters has been captured for the password. Now let me show you the ID as pass and the input type is password that they have given it. And the tag name is input. In the same way, I'm going to add a login. This is a login button, correct? How I'm going to do, I'm going to identify it. Over here you can see, this is the you know login button that we're having. Control and left click that I'm going to spine the element. Now you can see over here, so for the login, that is the submit input type is the submit for the login button. So we have identified the, you know, uh, elements over there which we are required and to train this application model. But is it working fine or not? How can we know that? Let me check it out. So I'm going to select the email and I'm going to highlight it 
if you can see over here in the red mark it is going to showing as you know highlighted you have selected that for that particular element you have selected that particular uh, you know input type let me show you the for the login also let me highlight that you can see you, when you are selecting it you know the VBO will select that login button while you are going to using while you are going to training or while you are going to work with the application model and I'm going to click on OK. Now let me go to again Object Studio. Now you can see when I'm going to click on the application modeler, you can find it all the details over here. This is all about the application modeler and how we are going to create an application model and how to identify the elements and how we are going to spine the elements. In the next session, we'll learn about the navigate toolbar, right toolbar, and the weight toolbar. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.